Hi there and welcome to Transcona Trailer Sales. Today I'm going to be walking you through your 2021 Tag Boondocker by Newcam. We are just going to start off the back of the unit. If you do notice these two handles, so you're going to open up your rear kitchen. I'm going to come back to that in a bit. We're just going to show you a little around the exterior of the unit first. First off, you do have your main power cord inlet. The way that works is this is a twist lock connection. You got this L here. It's going to line up with that L on the plug side. You're just going to line those two guys up, push it in, twist it in to lock it into place. You got that threaded collar to really lock it down. If you follow that plug back, you do have your standard 30 amp plug in. Most campsites should have this and you can plug right on in. But let's say you're out boondocking or you're at home and you want to run your fridge. You can, we do include a 15 amp park adapter. Just keep it in mind you're going down to 15 amps of power so you won't be able to run something like your air conditioner. Right up from there, you do have a cable satellite inlet if you were to want to get a TV. And inside here is just going to be your city water connection as well as your fresh water connection. So if you're out of sight with service, you can thread a garden hose in here, turn it on. It's going to pressurize all your lines without the need to run your, hot, your water pump. And underneath this cap here, you're twisting that off. That's going to be your fresh tank fuel, which your water pump draws off of. In this corner, as well as all four corners of the unit, you do have a stabilizer jack. The way that works is we got a tool in the front compartment. You're gonna put that guy on there. You're gonna run that foot down to the ground. Once the foot contacts the ground, just giving it another eight and a quarter turn just to snug it up. And it's gonna take any bounce or sway that you see we have in the unit right now away. Keep in mind also that this is a small unit with not a lot of tongue weight. So that if you are inside the unit near the back, especially without your stabilizer jacks down, you do have to run the risk of the trailer tipping back on you and being able to roll away. One thing, uh, other thing I'll notice, I'll mention, is if you thread this cap off, this is gonna be the drain for your kitchen sink. There is no holding tank for this one. And then right down here, you're gonna notice this little valve. The way that guy works is, this is your fresh tank drain. So you're just gonna twist that guy, and that's just gonna drain all the water you have inside your fresh tank. Right inside here, you do have a quick connect for a water uh, attachment, which I'll show you in a minute, once we get to the back of the unit again. Inside this first door here, you're opening up that door. Taking a peek on inside. First thing you're gonna notice in the front here, you do have a light right on the wall. But on its own center push button, you also have your fire extinguisher. That's gonna be just like home. Pull the pin and shoot. Up on the top here, you do have a ceiling fan. The way that works is you're just taking this knob, twisting it up. And it's going to allow that to open up. Now, just keep it in mind, whenever you do have this open, that is going to allow water inside. So if it were to start raining, you do have to uh, close it up or you can install a max air cover. And that's going to allow you to run that whether you're traveling or it's or whether, or if it's raining. You can contact your parts department about getting set up with that. And this fan does have a couple options. You can either draw air in or take air out. Whenever you are sleeping in here, it is recommended to be running this. And you got the fan speeds down at that, down in that right hand corner. At the front, flip this little cap down. That's going to give you access to your fuse panel and your breaker panel. Whenever a breaker trips, it's going to sit in the middle. So you just have to turn it off and then back on again to reset it. Whenever your fuse trips, there will be a little red indicator light telling you which one's tripped. On the wall here, you do have your air conditioner. That works pretty simple. You got your temperature selection on the top and your fan selection on the bottom just keep it in mind low fan on the left you got low fan and then you got low cool low fan is no air conditioning it's just moving air around it's the same thing on the other side you do have to put in either cool or high cool or low cool for the air conditioning to take into effect you can also manually turn the fan on with that switch on the wall there up on the top that does turn a porch light on right up top here and then on the other side you do have another light switch which turns on the porch light on the other side as well as the interior lighting up top you got your stereo on the wall which is pretty much just like home minus the fact that you have zone a and zone b speakers zone a is going to be for those interior speakers and zone b is going to be for those exterior speakers and then you do have your heater for the unit installed on the wall there coming around to the front of the unit you got your tongue jack you got one on the left the other way is down this does have, you do need a two inch ball for this trailer. 
inside this front compartment. You just pull it on those latches and that'll unlock. That'll allow you to open that front compartment. You got your 25 foot water hose, with that 15 amp park adapter I told you about. Underneath that is your battery box, which can be where your battery's located. And then right up front, you're gonna notice you got a battery disconnect. With the, with the way it, it's turned now, the batteries are connected to the unit and turning it the other way would disconnect them from the unit. You got your propane tank up front here, right beside it here. That's gonna be pretty simple. You just turn it open all the way like a barbecue and it opens up the flow of propane to the unit. Coming around this side, again, opening up the door, you have another porch light on this side as well as another door. All the blinds in the unit do work the same way and they all do have either a shutter that closes them completely or bug netting like you see on the front one. And all of the windows do open the same way. You're just pushing down those, that red button. That'll allow you to open it up, open up all the other latches and you can push it out and you can have it hold out just by locking up these uh, struts, twisting it clockwise will firm it up, allowing it to hold place, and then unlocking it, you're just turning it counterclockwise, allowing it to unlock. And then these bottom guys, you are always having to push that red button down to open or lock it. Coming around this side of the unit, you can get into the back of the trailer. You're just unlocking those latches and pulling up. Just keep it in mind, this is hydraulically assisted, so just keeping a hand on it because it does come up kind of quick. You do have a Yeti cooler, which New Camp has included with the unit. Now this does require you to have ice. It is not electronically controlled in any way. You got your stove, which is pretty much like any camp stove. You're turning it over to high slash light, hitting it with a lighter. It's gonna light right on up. You got your microwave down below. And then you do have your kitchen sink with your water pump switch, as well as an accent light. To turn on that water pump, you just hit that switch and it turns the water pump on. And then you do have this hose, which goes right where I showed you earlier. And it works just like an airline. You're just taking that collar, pulling it back, pushing it into place, allowing it to lock in, and then just twisting the end of the hose will allow it to spray out. And then to disconnect again, you're just doing the same thing. Underneath the sink here is where you're gonna get access to your water pump for winterization. That's going to be it for this unit here. If you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call.